Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I have another uh, design team. Uh, design team. I have another design for you for the October design team challenge project. It's a mouthful, isn't it? This is a redo of a little folder I made with cards five years ago. It's hard to imagine it's been that long ago. It doesn't seem like it. But this little folder is the quickest and easiest thing you'll ever make. The um, cards are very simple, but they're very pretty. So it just opens like a little wallet. And I have five cards and five envelopes inside. So the cards are very simple. I used the design team, the design paper from Christmas Cheer, which is one of Tammy's exclusive uh, collections. I've used Red Artisan and Green Artisan to decorate and then I had some gold glimmer paper in my stash that I cut a scallop circle. I printed Merry Christmas on my uh, word processing program and just cut out a circle. So that's all there is to that. And th there are five of them and I've turned three of them backwards just so I don't have all the depth on one side but they're all the same. Here's the other three. They're all the same. And on the inside, I just used a stamp that I had in my stash. It's very pretty. And I just added some more uh, berries and leaves in there. And it says, May you have the gladness of Christmas, which is hope, the spirit of Christmas, which is peace, the heart of Christmas, which is love. I just thought that was so pretty. So I put the same sentiment in all of them. And on the back of each of the envelope fl flaps, I just stamped Merry Christmas. And that's it. I have a magnet in it and I punched a circle out of the design paper and matched up the plaid so it's not so visible. But that's it. That is the little folder. Five cards and envelopes. And the, this you can make in ten minutes. I mean it's just super simple. And the cards are just basic. And there is a tutorial on making the box. I give you an explanation of the cards, how, how I cut the pieces, the measurements of the scraps, and what punches I used. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's just super simple. I hope you all will love it. I think this would make a super gift for somebody that maybe is a shut-in that likes to send out cards and can't get out and buy any. That would be a super thing to give to somebody like that. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I hope you'll enjoy making this one. Bye-bye. Alright guys, this is a very short and quick tutorial. This will probably be one of the shortest ones I've ever made. I'm just going to give you the basics of the cards. I have made five. And I have five envelopes. And on the envelopes, I just stamped Merry Christmas on the back flap. That's all I did with the envelopes. And then on each of the cards, the, the base is 11 by 5 and a half, I believe. Let me double check. No, 8, sorry. 8. Why'd I have 11? 8 by 5 and a half. And then it's scored at 4. Yep, scored at 4. And then you have a top fold card. I just cut, once I made the box, I used my scraps um, when I cut out my, my base piece for the box or the container, whatever you wish to call it. I uh, used my scraps from that and cut 3 quarter inch strips. Then I used a border punch. It's this really old one I've got. It's called Scroll Lace. It's an old Martha Stewart. And I wanted a little bit of an edge, but I didn't want anything major. So I just used this little lacy edge at the top and placed it along there. And I put a strip on the top and the bottom. Then I just used some circle punches that I had. <coughs> this one is excuse me, an inch and a half scallop circle, and this is an inch and a quarter, maybe inch and three-eighths, I'm not sure. And then I used this punch, and it's also a real old one, and it punches out your holly leaf and berries, and I just punched those out of artisan green, the dark green, and the red berries out of the artisan red, and that's how I got my little cards. So, for the box, easy, easy, easy. You're going to love it. So, if you have 
<clears throat> this paper is kind of directional, but I mean the boxes, the gift boxes go every which way, so it's not too terribly restrictive. But how, wherever you want the bottom of your box to be, that needs to be to the left end of your scoreboard. And you're going to score three and a half and four. And then seven and three eighths, I think. Let me double check myself. I don't want to tell you wrong. Oops, I would have told you wrong. Eight and three eighths. <coughs> and let's see if that's eight and three eighths. Right here. There's a lot of noise um. in the background here. Eight and three eighths and hey, eight, Mom. eight and seven eighths. I'm recording. Oh, my bad. <laughs> then we're going to turn it this way, and we're going to go to this second score line, which is your four. We had three and a half and four, so we're going to score at one half just up to that four inch line. We're going to score at a half. And one. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. Seven and a half. Just to the four inch line. And seven. Now, we don't want to score the rest of the way because we're going to cut that out. Now, you can score all the way if you want and then cut it with your scissors, but I don't like to do that because I find it's kind of hard to get rid of that dent that your score line makes, and I don't want that to be present on mine, so let me get my paper trimmer here. On the four inch line, I'm going to cut in on this line, on the four inch, just, just to that one inch score, and then I'm just going to take a little wedge out of that, so I know where to stop. Oh my goodness, my grandson's dog is having a fit. fed him and taken him out and everything. My grandson's out of town, so I'm babysitting his dog. So now we're going to put this in. Now remember, this is the bottom of your box, the base. We're going to put it in at the one inch. And we're going to cut this off at one inch all the way down to this notch we made. So we're going to start at the four. Let's see if it's, yep, it's loose. I got it. So that takes care of that side. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. One inch. And we're going to take it out just down to that four inch score line. Yep, I could feel it with my paper trimmer. It'll be about the easiest box you ever made. I tell you, it's really super easy. Okay, so we're going to burnish on all our score lines. Where is my other bone folder? This one is the one I like the best. So we're going to burnish. This is the top of your box or. It's kind of like a little wallet style uh, box. And we're going to score on the four inch. Does that match up? Here's that one. One more. It's hard to see them on this dark paper, but I want to make sure I get them straight. And there's that. All the way out. Now we 
you can score these half and one inch. There's your one inch. And the half. <coughs> one inch. Just got a little bit of trim work here. This is going to be your tab for the inside of your box when you fold it up. So you want to cut on the three and a half inch line. We're going to cut this section out and I'm going to taper this little tab just a little bit and this edge here. And go around and do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to cut in on the three and a half. Cut this extra half inch off here. And we'll take for this one. And the top and bottom of this little tab. Now you'll need to decide if you want to use a magnet or string or Velcro for your closure. I'm going to use a magnet. But you can use whatever you want. Let me grab a magnet here. I should have had one out and I didn't. There, got one left in this package. That'll be perfect. There's a positive and negative. <coughs> Got a little nubbin hanging there. Pull that off. Okay, so I'm going to place my magnet. Let me make sure exactly where it's going to fall. So I can put my magnet about here. So about so. Just want to make sure it's going to catch. of tape just so the cards don't get caught on it And apply our glue. Now I'm going to ink mine just a little bit on the edges to get rid of that white core. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I want to. That's going to be tucked in so that doesn't need to be inked. portion just the half inch the first half inch on the inside okay I'm bring this little tab to the inside 
and bring this right up and match up your edges. And then you can take a bone folder or something and put in here and press this down so you get a nice square edge. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Line it up so you get a nice square edge over there. Now if you want a notch in there, you can put a notch here before you glue it down. I'm not going to put a notch because mine are plenty visible where you can grab them, so I don't really need it. Okay, for the top. Let's see where my magnet's going to go. Right there. Okay, so I need a piece of tape, score tape, and I'm going to put my magnet down. Square at my top. And I actually need something inside. I hope it'll catch. Good, it did. Make sure that's in the right place now. Yep, that looks fine. Okay, so now I want to punch a circle out of my scrap. I find a scrap over here that's big enough. There's a piece. And I want a circle to cover my magnet. Let me grab a punch real quick. much larger than I need, but it'll do the trick. I got more score tape here than I need to, but this circle will cover it up. And I'll just move the score tape back a little bit with my thumb so it's hidden by the circle. Let's see if I can match it up. I'm come pretty close. Let me go around the edges just a little bit. Get rid of that white. Okay. Pretty close. Okay, that covers up the magnet and it matches pretty darn good. Okay, on the front, I'm going to put this little border. And then I'm going to put a little strip of gold glimmer that I had in my stash. And I'm just going to, I'm going to trim a little bit of that off because... I don't want all that. It's just more than I need. Let me get it straight here. I just don't need that wide of a trim. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue.
just along that top edge. And I'm going to put it where it hangs over just a hair. And now the gold. I'm going to put that right up to the edge. And just to the top of that little curvy thing there. Off. If I find my scissors, I can. Here they go. Huh? I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached, I tell you. Got that tape stuck there that I cut off a while ago. And this side. Then I have this circle I cut out with some little uh, poinsettias, and this actually came from the circles I had in my stash, but the poinsettia leaves came from a dye that Tammy sent me a long time ago from, um, I can't remember what company it was, but it was with one of her collection probably two years ago. And this card box in cards is... Um, a redo of a design I made five years ago, if you can imagine. Five years ago. That's a long time. So let me open this out. So I can give this a good press. Make sure it's nice and straight. And to get these flowers to curl a little bit, I just rolled them around the barrel of a pencil. That's all I did. So here's my cards and envelopes. They all go in the box. Well, I got them started crooked. Okay guys, that is the whole thing. It isn't that simple, so quick and so easy. And it's just, I did turn two of the cards uh, forward and three of them backwards so that the circles are staggered and you don't get a real thick thickness over here and, and real thin over there and it makes it lay nicer. But I just thought it was so cute, just adorable. So that's my project for the December Dine. December. Lord, Lord. For the October Design Team Challenge. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.